Hi everyone, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to open laptop's AC power adapter without damaging the plastic case and internal components. I also show you how to replace bad capacitors and DC cable. All modern AC adapters are not serviceable like it used to be a long time ago. Now they are very well glued with some super adhesive which makes it very difficult to take them apart. Before we begin, let's talk about the two most common AC adapter problems. Speaking from my own experience, it's a broken cable at either the wall or device side due to excessive flexing of the cable, and the second problem is failed electrolytic capacitors, which you can easily recognize by swelling on its top. All these problems you can easily solve for a few dollars, so it makes sense in any case. New original adapter costs over 50 bucks, and I don't really recommend using any 10 bucks power bricks from China. Ok, so first plug your adapter into the wall outlet. If the LED is on, then this power cable is ok, and the AC adapter is most likely functioning properly. In case of your power brick without LED indicator, like this one, then try to slowly plug the power cord into your adapter. Loose connection can cause arcing along with popping or crackling sounds, which means that this power cord and input circuit of the adapter are working properly. In case if you have LED indication, but your laptop doesn't receive power from the adapter, basically there is no output voltage, then try to bend, twist or wiggle the cable along its length. Usually cable breaks close to the power adapter or DC connector, so if you notice charge indication at some angle, then simply replace this cable. New high quality cables cost about 3 bucks with free worldwide shipping, the links in description below. If you don't get that indication, the problem still might be in the cable or failed capacitors. Anyway, we have to get inside to diagnose the specific failure. Ok, for this project you will need a thin flat head screwdriver and maybe a hammer. First of all, make sure that you put your adapter on a hard surface. Next, place your screwdriver right in the middle of the seam. Now try to hit the screwdriver with your palm or a hammer. Don't use too much force, you don't want to penetrate the case. This cracking noise means we're on the right way. First of all, you have to check the power supply board for blown or popped capacitors. Also check for brown crusty discharge at the top or around them. Replace bad capacitors with the same or slightly higher values. Before replacing the cable, let's check its continuity. As you can see, one wire is ok, and the second one is definitely broken. You can also measure voltage across these wires, but you must be very careful, don't touch the PCB. So, here we have 19 volts and 0 reading on the DC connector. Let's finally replace this cable with a new one. The colors of the wires may vary. Even if they are still the same, you have to double check pinouts and polarity according to the markings on the PCB and the AC adapter's case. Black wire is ground or negative and the white one is positive. For HP and Dell connectors, the outer ground contact tube is black wire, the inner positive contact goes to the white wire and the central ID or sensor pin is blue wire. This pin is used to determine the wattage of your AC adapter. If it's not attached, it will still power your laptop but the battery will not charge. The bias will also show warning message that the AC power adapter type cannot be determined. 